Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a review on the new White Peach palette from Too Faced. So we are gonna jump in and talk about this bad boy. White Peach, it has the lovely case. It is absolutely stunning. So what I do like about it is the colors. Check these out. A lot of light colors, which for me, I do gravitate towards the peaches. I just think they're absolutely stunning. And they do have some pink tones in here. So we're gonna do some swatches and see how these do. Okay, so what is my thoughts on this peach palette? The smell, amazing. The packaging, stunning as always, or at least the last bit of the peach the peach collection. The peach, the peach, the peach, the, 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 the peach. Okay, that was kind of an old woman rapping. No, it wasn't. An old woman stuttering. Okay, so what do we think about this peach palette? The colors are leaning more towards the pink tones, which I thought would be perfect for my sister-in-law, Sabrina, the makeup mom, because she is in love with pinks. Now, as far as the palette goes, I've, um, as I was using it, it does have a lot of fallout. Like. A lot of fallout incredible amount of fallout crazy fallout so if you're not used to that or fallout drives you crazy this one is gonna drive you absolutely insane so let's do some swatchy swatchies and go from there now we will take peach ice which I absolutely freaking love maybe I'll do another eye look on that peach sorbet which I use today and peach cream which I use today and Dun, dun, dun. So you can kind of see how brilliant that peach is. Um, which one was that? Peach ice. Then we are going to pick up some fuzzy, some glistening peach, and some peach suede. And I did use the peach suede today. So where's my arm? Where did I last leave off? Okay, look at the sparkle in this one. Very, very pretty. So this picked up the sparkle as this one did. And if you may have had a chance to watch my Huda video, you found that I was not excited about the colors because they were all sparkly and pretty. And then they didn't perform like that. So I already like the fact that as the swatches go, they're infusing those sparkles in there. Love it. Okay, so I did use On The Grill today. Then we have Peach Smoothie and Peaches and Dreams. So I used this one today. Um, it actually is more like a dark, let's say, it's not a total, total black. It's not, maybe it's a super deep, deep gray leaning on the black side but it's a nice color lastly we are going to go with the peach passion which i used today the sweet tea and the creme de la peach which is another beautiful one and we'll swatchy swatchy right there okay so these colors again the purple does pick up some iridescence what i like and so does that orange that just is really, really pretty. So, excuse me, it's not an orange palette. It's a white peach palette. So you can see the swatches kind of came out good. Again, they do have fallout, so just be prepared for that. I what I like about this palette is it does incorporate some peaches and some pinks. So I think that this is a good palette if you lean towards the pinks or you lean towards the peaches. Um, it's just kind of a multi-functioning palette for that reason there. I do really like this palette. I can see myself picking this up and using it over and over again. It's just absolutely pretty. The smell in the peach palette goes right in line with all of the other peach goodness and the rest of the collection. So again, I just absolutely really enjoyed using this one today. On a scale of 1 to 10, because in some of my other videos I was doing that, which was kind of helpful actually, I would put this as a high 8 or a 9. And the reason why I kind of downgraded it to a high 8 
is because of that fallout. Sometimes the fallout just absolutely drives me insane because I do like to put on my foundation first and then build up because I find that my with my skin being so red and blotchy, if I go to put on my eyeshadow first, it just doesn't look right on me and I get frustrated. So I have to kind of calm down all the red to do my eyes. And that's where the extra fallout drives me insane because I don't want it on my foundation and I don't want to have to patch my foundation fixing it. So that's why I gave it a high eight. The presentation in the package, like I said, is gorgeous. It's, I mean, come on now, this is just absolutely beautiful. So as far as the presentation goes, it's right in there with the, the high-end products of Too Faced. I'm guessing this one must have been made in, in the US. Let me look, let me look. It does look like it was bulk made in the US, assembled in the Dominican Republic. I say that because I've noticed with Too Faced, I do seem to have watery eyes when they do the products in China. For whatever reason, whatever the labs are there, my eyes end up getting really itchy and irritated. As long as the products are kind of made stateside, I don't seem to have is, is those problems. So just another thing if you've got sensitive eyes. Okay, ladies and gents, that's all we have today. So if you wanna see how I created this look, Stay All right, tuned. good morning. So we're in a temporary location as, yeah, as I slowly get things settled. Um, we're finally officially moving over some things from the rental house, but we have another month, so we're in a hurry. And let's see, the room that I'm going to be filming in is full of stuff we've got to move out. So I'm temporarily in, I guess, the formal living room in front of the fireplace for a little while. I'll eventually get settled. I'm in no rush, but here we go. Okay, so today we're doing, using or trying the Too Faced White Peach Palette. Uh, um, as far as my products that I have on today, I do have on several Too Faced Peach products. I've got the foundation, the primer, the peach blur, and the lips. Sunday fun day. As far as what I'm not wearing that is Too Faced is I'm using MAC Whirl as my lip liner. I have the Desi and Katie highlighter and the blush is from MAC Warm Soul and I'm using Hula. I'm using Hula as my my bronzer. Ryan, no. So I love peaches, not just to eat, but I just love the colors. Now I did, I think that my sister-in-law would pick this one up because it does seem to have more pinks in it than peaches, which is kind of interesting, but this is a white peach palette. So why wouldn't there be pinks? I don't know. We are gonna try to start with a little bit of this peach, oops, that's not it, peach sorbet up here. Ooh, that's some fallout. And this sweet, no, this white peach palette does smell yummy, by the way. Oh my goodness, look at that fallout already. Ooh. Oh, we'll just pick up the fallout. Okay, I am gonna pick up a little bit of this peach cream now, which I know seems counterintuitive, and kind of put that up underneath the brow. And that is a white, white peach. Oh wow, look at how pigmented that white is. Okay, I better go back in with the peach cream. To darken up the crease, I'm gonna pick up this peach suede. Okay, I'm gonna try a trick that I've seen Sherry Ward do. She's a YouTuber to do a cut crease. I'm a little concerned. I've never done it. This is the first time I'm gonna try this. So if I screw it up, I guess I can always edit it out. Ah. So 
Let's see what she put. Some stuff like that. Some stuff like that. And she looked all the way up and that gave her a crease to follow. I'm not sure why mine, I mean, you can kind of see it. It didn't work as good as hers, but it did give a, a smidge of a crease. Let's follow that. Oh yeah, it does work. Well, looky there. I did my first cut crease that's pretty. Thank you, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. So I will put Sherry's link below so you can see how it's really supposed to be done. Because she did an awesome job. That really worked. That is so cool. I'm gonna maybe, I don't know. It's just time to play, right? Because that's what I always do. I'm gonna pick up this sweet fig on the opposite side of that brush I just used. And then now I'm going to pick up some of this purple, which is Peach Passion. Okay, so because purple isn't enough, we're gonna get this picture, this color, this color here on the grill. I'm gonna take a bit of the Marc Jacobs. This color is in Grapevine. Because when you're doing a white peach look, you gotta have some grapes. All right, my jokes aren't very good this morning. I do apologize. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Thrive and this color is in Lauren. We're gonna pick up the On the Grill. Just kind of smudge that out. I'm gonna pick back up the color Lauren from Thrive, and that is gonna be our new top eyeliner. I'm trying to get it all in the eyelashes also. Then we'll take the end of the other end of the Thrive and just kind of smudge that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. For mascara today, we are going to use the Marc Jacobs. Okay, so this is the kind of final look using the white peach palette. I'm gonna go do my hair and wrap this Thank video. Thank you so much for joining today as I did the review on the white peach palette. I hope you enjoyed it. If you get an opportunity, please put your comments or thoughts below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.